Um, great words from the minister. I think I'm gonna give up my job to start a business uh, pretty soon. <laughs> and as a good MBA student, I brought my PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> so uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna talk. Uh, and, and that's fine. I'll just I'll delete them. Uh, so we'll just put it put it here. So I'll just talk uh, a little bit my uh, about myself. Almost three years ago, I came to Canada uh, looking for a healthier and safer environment to raise my family. So the main things that attracted me to, to Canada were uh, basically the ability to obtain a residency and uh, uh, not jump from visa to visa and wait 10 years until you can finally get uh, a residency that happens in, in other countries. I have lived in the U.S. before and it became really very difficult to uh, you know, know what was happening in the future. And uh, one day I sat down in my office and I said, if I could live anywhere else, in the world where I wanted, where, where would I live? And I did some research and Canada came pretty high up in the list as far as you know, social programs, uh, openness to immigration, uh, of course, you know, English speaking and I knew a little bit of English, so that helped. So, uh, I, you know, I was very happy to um, obtain my residency and uh, as many of you here in this room, I came in with a lot of hopes and not a lot of idea on what was going to happen. Uh, but, you know, this, despite the cost of leaving many things behind, uh, this has been a fantastic experience and I'm very, very happy uh, to be here and to be part of this wonderful country. Um, I won't deny that I've been fortunate, but I've also worked very hard at uh, integrating and adapting to, to this country. I think uh, one of the important things when, you, when you're a newly arrived uh, immigrant is that you have to set in mind a goal to really, you know, become uh, part of part of the culture and part of the country, and uh, that's you know some of the, the points I'm going to touch about, uh, touch on today. So, of course, as many of you, I had to pay the price. Uh, I initially had to take a you know a significant pay cut and a lower level uh, position with uh, my current employee. Uh, that they, they basically said, well, that's the only job we have in Canada. We don't have a big operation there. If you want it, it's yours, but you know it's less money. It's not the same. Uh, uh, you know, level of, of uh, uh, managerial uh, skill, but you know that's all we have. So I, I took it, and of course, you know, the moment I landed, I started looking for, for, for a job that will match my qualifications. And you know, I I, I, would, I still believe in uh, you know this dream about coming to Canada and, and develop myself not only personally but also professionally. So I started working on on, on that. And I was exposed to many of the hardships that we all newly you know, arrived immigrants uh, uh, faced. So, you know, I was very lucky six months later after I arrived, I found this wonderful job, uh, which I love. And, you know, we could talk about uh, it all night, but that's not the <laughs> here. <laughs> of course, you could ask anything at, at, at the end. And um, um, I, after I found my job, I, I became a, a mentor in the mentor, mentorship uh, uh, program. And I found a lot of people that, like me, have just arrived with a lot of dreams, uh, but you know, also facing a lot of uh, difficulties in finding a job, or finding an opportunity in, in Canada, right? And uh, you know, they had uh, similar experiences I, I, as I mine. So I, I found that the single most difficult thing for everybody, you know, wasn't really the winter and wasn't really the high taxes. It wasn't even that difficult to learn to love the important, right? <laughs> it was <laughs> the highest obstacle we all have in common was our lack of Canadian experience. So I thought, well, what is this you know, Canadian experience? First of all, I never heard of such a thing before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I worked in the US, nobody asked me if I had American experience. I worked in Argentina for, with Frigo Lay. Nobody said, oh, you don't have Argentinian experience. In fact, my first uh, job, uh, apart from family in Mexico, my first boss uh, was a, a Canadian guy. He was, you know, was a wonderful guy, and he's, still, uh, uh, he's back here in Canada, we're still in touch. But you know, he was newly arriving in Mexico, he was Canadian, and nobody ever asked him if he had any Mexican experience. Right? <laughs> so he was like, well, I've never heard of this before. It, it's sort of like a catch-22, right? Because, well, how am I supposed to get Canadian experience? No one ever have it, right? So it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a difficult uh, concept. And you know, when you think about these wonderful big companies paying uh, a lot of money to, uh, for it, to, to some of their employees to go and work in other countries, that kind of like defeats the concept of Canadian experience. I mean, how, how come you have expats, right, that, you know, are, are being raised and educated in the U.S. and they get sent to Brazil, right, to be general managers of company, and they're very successful, very successful companies. 
they never had Brazilian experience, you know. So, you know, I, that made me think a lot about that. So I started thinking, well, what's, what's different in Canada, right? So I looked more, deep, more, more deeply into this concept and, uh, you know, I shared my thoughts with, you know, some of my colleagues, with some of the people I work with, um, you know, I've been talking with some people about my experience being an immigrant, with some of the people I've worked, working in the, in the mentorship program. Uh, so I asked myself, what, why are Canadian employers requiring, why, what is what they really want when they ask you for Canadian experience? And just to put it in one expression, I think what they really want, and maybe they don't say it that way, but what they really want is they want you to fit in. Um, so, you know, they, they, they want you to know, you know, who is who, and, and the way things are done in Canada. Right, so, so you know, these are the ways things are done, you know, this is, uh, you know, and, and know the context, right, where is uh, Kitchener, Waterloo, and, you know, where are all these, uh, you know, different cities that, you know, we're not used to, right, and of course there is a learning experience, and there's a learning curve, when, when you come into a country where you're not so used to the geography, right, so, so they want you to know, they want you to have some, some sort of uh, experience in, uh, in the industry, right, 